Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate how to download online LiDAR data sets through the global mapper interface. There are three ways to download online LiDAR data set I'm going to uh, introduce today. The first one is by linking and downloading on the public web website. And second, by connecting to the uh, AWS cloud data sets. And the third one, by providing uh, the own twine LiDAR tile URL. These three methods can be done by our online data connection tool. The tool can be quickly run by clicking the online source on our main page or go to the file download online maps. We can uh, find a globe icon that should uh, run this tool as well. In the dialog, uh, we can see a full list of our uh, uh, built-in online resources. Today, we are focusing on the LiDAR data sets. So we scroll down to look for a folder called LiDAR and click it. These are also multiple built-in LiDAR data options. Some options will help navigate to the website with a predefined bounds uh, specified in the global mapper map view. So here I have an example of some random areas in the mountain uh, Washington in New Hampshire. Since it's in the United States, uh, the LiDAR dataset should be available on the USGS National LiDAR dataset website. So I'm now introducing the first method to download uh, directly on the website. We select the area to download, current area to download, and then hit connect. You will see it will narrow down the data sets available to download within the bound specified in the global mapper. Now we unselect the elevation product because it is for a uh, raster data type uh, export. Uh, we download the elevation source in LASLZ uh, file format and hit search product. After uh, we can see all the data are uh, now available for download have been listed in uh, a screen uh, boundary. So we hit download the uh, link LAZ file. So you can see now it's downloading. And after the LAZ file is downloaded, then uh, we can load it back into our global mapper uh, application to have them overlap together. So we can see uh, it's loading right now. Um, yep. And now once the data is loaded, we can display our point clouds using different uh, views, uh, draw mold like color by uh, RGB, color by classification, color by uh, intensity. Uh, also, we can uh, view it in a path profile view. So we can see uh, the terrain data, the point cloud data here, and we can manually select this uh, some of the uh, point clouds here. And also, uh, we can uh, see our data in the 3D viewer. So you can see all the uh, data sets are now displaying in the 3D uh, viewer, the point cloud data, the terrain data, and the uh, the image the image uh, data. We can uh, let the or street maps on top of the terrain data to uh, uh, make it draped. Another method is to, uh, to download LiDAR data set in Global Mapper is to connect to the AWS cloud data sets. This will be useful if the data sets are stored in a repository of an AWS data sets. So I now use uh, USGS as an example again, uh, because uh, for example, in 2019, USGS 3DEP uh, announced they uploaded 3DEP LiDAR point cloud data into an a Amazon S3 uh, requester pays bucket. So we can learn more from this uh, data set patch that this point cloud data is organized in an on-point point tiles format, which is organized in a way that point cloud data can be quickly and easily uh, streamed over the internet, uh, pulling only the points you need. It. So it can shows the, uh, also shows the resource name and the storage region. So back to uh, Global Mapper, we click uh, File, Open Cloud Database, make a new connection if you haven't, and provide with the personal public key and the private key for authentication. After the EPT data is, uh, uh, when it is connecting, we can start to add external uh, folder, enter the folder name, 
and the corresponding location to match the USGS AWS 3 repository. And click OK. Now we can see the data has been categorized by different zones of the uh, states. We can now download EPT uh, data in a state. For example, I choose uh, the one in Alaska and choose the EPT data folder subfolder. And we can see there are a bunch of LAZ uh, file, uh, the uh, file tiles. So we can uh, click OK to download. However, our development team has actually transformed this USGS Open Data re uh, Registry provided by AWS uh, into a built-in options in the uh, data connection tool. So you can see that's exactly the same uh, list in our uh, built-in uh, dialog. So we select the same uh, data set as example and hit connect and OK. Now we can see the uh, EPT data is uh, streamlined into global member. But you might notice that this is marked as red because it is not allowed to be added or selected. This is because of the structure of the Ontwine point tiles file format. The EPT source is a stream, uh, streaming multi-resolution LiDAR, kind of like an uh, online imagery uh, source rather than a single LiDAR file. So we don't typically have a, a way to store manual edit to run our LiDAR process tool for this data type. So we might have to do first to export to a normal LAZ or LAS file to really uh, using this data. Uh, data. So, so uh, when we, uh, we can store, uh, we can select a specified uh, draw uh, the box to explore because over 300 uh, million uh, point clouds are just too large for my uh, machine. And then we can uh, click OK to download the tiles of the LiDAR uh, of the actual LiDAR data. So now we can see uh, in the 3D view and the 2D map view. And now we can do the further LiDAR processing. Like we've used our uh, power line auto classification tool to classify my uh, power line points. They are unlock, uh, They are pre-classified as high vegetation. So we can see now they are marked as uh, yellow. And then we can also use the path profile view to manually edit the classification for uh, some of uh, some part parts of the misclassified uh, points. So select classify wires and click yes. The third method, since we have uh, we have mentioned EPT file format, we are going to keep looking uh, into this format. Since it is described in a JSON format for describing the layout of the data at different zone, uh, zoom levels, we can streamline this data tab by uh, entering its JSON URL. So Sam opening the online data connection tool, then we click add new source and EPT uh, tile uh, uh, URL. It prompts a uh, a dialog to enter the EPT URL. If this format applies to your data sets, uh, please enter the URL ending in JSON extension. So we're using the uh, using the USGS uh, LiDAR point cloud data set as an example again, and we uh, navigate to this page and where we can get the corresponding URL data sets. So for example, uh, the uh, data set in Alaska. So we copy and paste this URL into our dialog in Global Mapper. And click OK. And we uh, uh, name the source name uh, the same as what uh, it used to be. Click OK and hit Connect. After the EPT data is streamlined in Global Mapper, that will be exactly the same uh, display method as we uh, uh, introduced earlier, be uh, because the EPT data is mainly for quick display. The data is stored temporarily in a uh, in a temp folder, actually, so it is not uh, uh, either allowed for uh, selection or edited. We can verify that by looking at our app data in the file explorer. It's a hidden folder by default. Just keep in mind, and we go to the local temp one. 
global mapper folder, EPT folder, and you, uh, Amazon, and we will see each streamlined data set is safe in its folder. And this folders, uh, this data set is safe in this folder, uh, are safe here temporarily, where the first number means the zoom level, and the following three numbers re represents the uh, XYZ location for each cached tiles. So if we uh, go to our uh, global mapper application, we can see that uh, it's, it's streamlined, but not the actual files. It's just for faster display. We can, uh, we can uh, drag some part of the actual LiDAR files. You can see that how the data, uh, how the EPT uh, structure is, download, uh, is downloaded and processed uh, in, in the global mapper uh, GIS software. So you can see the zoom, uh, zoom several means the more like more uh, point clouds when, when we streamline in the global mapper. So don't forget to export it to a normal LAZ, LAS format before starting to run uh, many of our uh, LiDAR processing tools in global mapper. <laughs>